What is up party people? It's your boy Lucky and right now we have something dire to talk about. It is the episode 8, the finale review of season 4 of The Boys. And before we get into anything, I want to preface this by saying that this is a spoiler review so if you haven't seen the finale please go and watch it come back to the video so we can have a discussion because we gotta have a discussion obviously listen i mean right off the bat 10 out of 10 okay the build-up that we've been seeing this season in my opinion has been strong but not as strong as other seasons this just amped it all up because of this one episode i mean i've never seen a finale from the boys that has carried this much weight for a season and it is understandable because the season five is going to be the last season of these characters and everything so let's get right into it number one that i wanted to talk about personally the shapeshifter fight between the shifter and the real annie january we know the shifter turned into annie basically took her boyfriend from her without him knowing and she's in the bunker with the president and the boys when they're trying to protect the president because they they know that the assassination attempt is coming so needless to say Huey finds out she is the shifter because of a couple of things. Number one, she found the keys when they were in the, the apartment together right off the bat. He later in this episode explains that Annie never finds her keys within like the first 10 minutes. She found them immediately. He also noticed that in episode seven, when we're introduced to the shifter, you know, she talks about how it is so hot. She's burning up. She's burning up, right? She makes that same exact comment in the bunker and that throws Huey off. He alerts MM and basically all chaos breaks loose. She's killing CIA agents and secret service members and stuff like that. And she's going for the president. Kamiko tries to take her on. Next snap, boom, holy crap, Kamiko's super strong. We don't know the extent of this shifter's powers. Could this be another massive suit that they have to take on? No, Annie breaks free from captivity that we saw her in in episode seven and absolutely whoops the shifter's ass. And I'm I'm so happy to see this because Annie all season has been drugged through the mud when it comes to Firecracker and who is she and she got a lot of very negative comments about the abortion that she had and stuff like that because Vought and that industry is trying to go after her, right? She finally finds herself this episode. She whoops her ass, kills her, boom done so we don't even have time to process what just happened they are now together and, and they get him to a safe spot and they go back to wherever it was it looked like some kind of rundown facility huey gets a call from victoria newman because in this episode victoria is invited right which basically just means that homelander said come here or else you're dead invited on firecrackers podcast slash show whatever national television homelander in this show goes completely off script and outs her as a superhero which mind you victoria newman since we've met her character in the boys has fought endlessly to make sure that the general public has no knowledge of her being a super powered individual outs her lasers her does not affect her absolutely and we also see that even though victoria is a super powerful soup she cannot take homelander's head off so there is limitations to her power homelander was not affected by it at all that's the preference to what's about to happen huey gets a call from victoria newman afterward the the media is eating this up saying oh my god victoria newman's a soup she should have came out with this before blah blase 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 she calls huey after homelander talks to her and basically says if you are not my puppet I will make sure your daughter suffers and I will make sure that you suffer endlessly. Victoria obviously is like, I am tired of being a puppet. I've been a puppet my entire life. It, it's gone too far. Homelander's off the rails. He's flipping out. She basically says, help me to the boys, you know, help me get out of this. I will go quietly and I will resign from being president and all of the the big stuff. Huey, you know, kind of has this short spiel about he believes the only way to kind of go forward with this is to be human while these people are acting like animals. And so they go and get Victoria. But on the flip side, right, when we're talking about this situation going on right now, we flip to at the end of episode seven, Butcher had heart failure or some kind of, you know, he passed out in a bar. 
So he's about dead. He's in a hospital bed and Grace comes in. They they see the whole, you know, show live. So they see Victoria being a soup live and Ryan comes to visit Butcher because he misses Butcher. And that was a big disagreement in episode seven between him and Homelander. And Homelander like tore apart the room and everything and like broke the glass, said, I'm your father. You, you don't deal with Butcher whatsoever. So Ryan goes against that and goes and talks to Butcher. This entire episode's a big thing. So just bear with me, okay? The big thing with this, is that Grace is trying to explain to Ryan that Homelander is not who he says he is. And I, I know Ryan knows that Homelander isn't a good person, but Butcher's trying to kind of make it easy. You know, he, he's trying to ease him in on this. Grace finally is like, we are out of time. The shifter's dead. We don't know what's going on with this whole Victoria Newman thing, right? On live television, we have to do something. We have to figure something out. So she starts just spilling it all out to Ryan. Boom. Your, your dad um, essayed your mom. Boom, he's killed thousands upon thousands of people. This is a terrible situation. Obviously, Ryan is flipping out and he doesn't know what to do. So he is like, I wanna leave. And Grace won't let him leave. And Ryan kind of puts it in his head of like, oh my God, this is a similar situation to my dad. They're trying to keep me in this place where I don't wanna be at unless I'm a weapon because in Grace's eyes, he is the only one that can go and kill Homelander because he is Homelander's son and he has the powers that he does. We have to basically keep him here, train him to go be a weapon against his own father. A lot to digest. And I don't want this to be a complete breakdown of the episode but these are big talking points this whole episode is a massive talking point we're gonna move on to the biggest thing they bring victoria's daughter they're talking about kind of the plan of escape for her and everything butcher after grace dies at the hands of ryan completely snaps and gives in to kessler he comes in has the powers now and snaps victoria in half like a like a toothpick like she's gone she's dead completely dead, snaps her in half. This is somebody who got lasered by Homelander a couple minutes previously and did not feel anything. Didn't even have a scratch, nothing like that. Butcher's power might be OP. It might be enough to stop Homelander. The only problem is, is now he is completely unhinged. Now he wants to commit the genocide because Frenchie has been working on the disease or the sickness to, to kill soups. My guy Butcher wants that. He wants that back. Butcher walks off, says, thank you, whatever, whatever. He goes off with Joe Kessler and tells them you don't want to be caught here. So the boys are disbanding at the end of this episode. The boys are completely disbanding. And I love what they did here because they paired it with them leaving with Homelander's press conference with the new president, who by the way, called him personally to say that I am basically your puppet. Exactly what Victoria Newman did not want to do. So in doing this, Homelander is having a press conference with the president basically saying, and I know you guys know what I'm talking about. The the page in the book were like Butcher in, in, the, in the comics, where Butcher is walking up to the White House and there's all those superheroes around the White House. That is what's happening in season five, guys. And Kripke even came out and said that that's exactly what they're going to do in season five. They're going to have a military basically for Homelander that does exactly what he wants them to do. It's going to look exactly like that. And, and oh my God, I, I can't wait to see what season five has to offer. But at the end of this episode, not only are the boys disbanding and leaving, but some of them are, are, are captured now. You guys have to go back. If you haven't seen it, go watch it before you watch the finale or you watch a couple other episodes throughout this season because it pops up. Gen V, basically that little cast from Gen V because Frenchie and Kamiko, which by the way, great couple love that for them i think that's a great direction to go especially with season five coming right up but kamiko and frenchy are trying to go out of the country they're about to board a boat sam throws kamiko and i can't remember her name casey something like i believe it uh, K not casey but something like that I'm sorry guys, I'm super excited. Her powers from Gen V are being able to get people to do exactly what she wants them to do. So she whispers to Frenchie, get in the van. Frenchie, boom, is now under control. He gets in the van. Kamiko talks for the first time. She's screaming, no. I mean, it's all over the place. We see M.M. in a bathroom. It looks like he's about to be, you know, on a plane of some sort, maybe an airport bathroom. A, a soup that nasty, by the way, a soup that uses his, his gen genitalia to knock him out is arrested by what seems to be military force. Boom, he's kidnapped. So we don't see what happens to Kamiko because Sam is holding her back. So maybe that will be in the beginning of season five where... Kamiko is fighting with Sam and like whatever, whatever. And we see Huey and Annie in a car driving and car crash into the boat. They grab 
Huey, like the, the military people that the soups are using, as Homelander is talking that he is going to make it like a, a military type plan, they grab Huey. Annie has her powers now. She flies away because Huey's like, go, go, go. She flies away. So MM got taken. Frenchie got taken. Huey got taken. The only two people that might be around is I know for sure Starlight, Annie, and we don't know about Kamiko yet. Kamiko is up in the air. We're gonna have to find out in season five. And, and then Butcher and Kessler are driving, right? We know Kessler is a figment of his imagination, but Butcher and Kessler are driving to God knows where to do God knows what. This whole thing is crazy. And then at the very end of the episode, we see Homelander go back to where they're storing Soldier Boy to potentially get a re reunion with Soldier Boy? Jensen Ackles, he was the goat of season three. His portrayal of Soldier Boy was absolutely incredible. I loved it. It was fascinating. I can't wait to know what happens in season five, but let us know down in the comments. I want to I want to get a discussion started about this, guys, because this is super exciting. This was probably my favorite episode ever of The Boys. If you like this kind of content, remember to subscribe and like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. There's a lot to talk about. We're going to have to do another breakdown, I feel like, because this is going to be massive in season five, guys. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Lucky out.